This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. Okay, so on Monday in the House, you mentioned a senior environment Canada minister suddenly become the head of a pro oil organization. Yeah, uh, suggesting that there's like a conflict of interest. What impacts do you think that this will have on kind of what impacts do you think this revolving door of policy is going to have on the decisions that conservatives make? I think uh, there's a real problem when the regulated and the regulator get mixed up. Um, I am all for programs that allow our civil servants to go and learn in other departments or with other organizations, but when you actually have somebody leaving Environment Canada to go and work for an oil industry, an oil sands industry think group, uh, it's very problematic. Um, I, I have the, uh, a copy of the email from Karen Dodds, where she, uh, the deputy minister, where she actually talks about this is a great learning opportunity for us. We can learn more about how to innovate in the oil sands, etc. Is that really what Environment Canada should be doing? Um, if anything, maybe I can give that to Industry Canada, but certainly not Environment Canada. I have real, very strong um, worries about the fact that the regulated and the regulator are doing the same business here. It's, it's um, right now all hearsay, so I probably shouldn't say too much, but there's definitely, I can sense some unease around this issue. Um, you know, we are getting some feedback from people saying, this is not the way things should work here at Environment Canada, but no one's come forward formally. I wouldn't say they're, public, they're politicizing the public service, but they are certainly, um, I think, uh, there's a bit of a marriage here between oil and state. Um, I'm really worried about who's calling the shots, who gets to say yes or no. We saw a story recently where Enbridge actually uh, was successful in convincing the government not to take certain money through Tides Canada uh, for environmental monitoring. Who's making the decisions here? Uh, it doesn't seem to be the Minister of Environment, it seems to be industry. Absolutely, and, and who, who, are, who are they working for? Who are the Conservatives working for? Uh, especially in the Department of Environment. They should be working for the environment. They shouldn't be working for industry.